Hey everybody, this is Brandon from betteratEverything.info. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you really quickly how to use the extend command, uh, the trim command, and the break command. These are all uh, really important commands that you kind of just fall back on a lot. Uh, I even forget that I'm using them. I use them so often, but it's they're all uh, two, three, four letter commands that are vital to creating things quickly and easily. Um, I know there's longer ways to do a lot of these things, but these little shortcuts can definitely save you time. So first up, I'm going to show you how to use the extend command. And uh, the basic simple explanation here is that it'll extend a line until it touches another line. Uh, so I'm going to use it here. As you can see, I've got like a weird shape drawn here. Um, who knows what it is but I didn't connect these two. So we're going to use the extend command to extend this line on the right into the vertical line on the left. So to use it we're going to type in extend e-x-t-e-n-d and now it's going to ask you your, it's going to ask you to select your objects. The first object it needs is the line that you're extending into. So for us, that'll be this line on the left. Now you can hit enter or spacebar, and it's going to ask you uh, for your next line or the line that's going to be crossing into that one or uh, projecting into it. So we're going to select this line here. And you can see that it just drew the end of the line until it hit this vertical line here that we chose earlier. Now, to show you the trim command, we're going to trim off this top section here that's uh, extending past the top of our, our little object. So to do that we're going to type in TR and enter and TR stands for trim. You can also type in trim. And to do that we're, uh, we're it's going to ask for the objects that we'd like to trim. So we're going to select the two objects that we're uh, using to trim and hit enter and simply select the overlapping line. So we're going to click this one up here, and it just cut it off exactly where they meet. So now we've got a nice corner up here after we just had a bit of a mess. So down here, uh, we're going to break the line. I don't like this jog in here. I want a line to go from here straight to here now. So to break this piece here, we're going to type in BR and hit enter. That brings up the break command. We're going to select the line we'd like to break. So we're going to select this one here. And now it's going to ask for uh, a second point. It takes the first point we clicked as our first point. But I don't want to do that. I want to select a first point. So to do that, we're going to type in F for first. And now we're going to select right here. And then for our second point, we're going to select over here because this is the second spot we want to get rid of. There you go. It just erased what was that little zigzag. Now to finish off our object, we're going to use the extend command. EXT, enter. Oh, sorry, that was extrude. We want extend, EXT, END. So we're going to select the object to extend to, hit enter select the object to extend, enter, and that cancels that command. Now we're going to hit TR for trim. We're going to select our two objects. We're going to hit enter and trim off the leftover. Now we can hit Z and then enter E, enter for zoom extents. And you can see we've got a nice little bracket here. That's all for this video. Hopefully you've picked up quick on uh, my quick little tip here. Uh, the extend command, the break command, and the trim command. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and have a good day. Happy drafting.